I never thought about college right at the time of you know, finishing high school. I didn't realize how much of a step up I needed to have and take to get to the next levels. After a year at this first place, I reached out to a few different colleges and Arkansas being one of them, and they gave me an opportunity to be on the team with no, no expectations, and I certainly didn't go on the team as one of the better guys on paper. But within a very short period of time of being there, I, f I got a taste of what something that looked like the next level of training and competition was. Like it was a struggle to start with and it was you know, really hard because it was something I'd never experienced before. But you know, I just toughed, I toughed it out and just slogged through it day after day. Um, and I saw some massive results and it opened a few more doors for a future after college to continue my athletic career. You know, I ended up coming back to Australia. I joined the Melbourne Track Club, which was a group everyone in Australia knows about. It wasn't somewhere that I'd really given much thought to. And I'm really lucky that there was, a, that, you know, there was a place for me there. And, you know, last two and a bit years of being in the group have been some of the, some of the most humbling, but also some of the funnest times that I've had in my athletic career. I've uh, stepped up things again. You know, I've sort of been exposed to another level again. I've always taken it from the approach that if you can get through it and you can do it, it gives you a little bit more of an edge. It makes you just that little bit tougher. I got into law school here, which I always wanted to do, whether being a competitive runner was part of my life or not. I then met my current girlfriend, Steph, who I've, you know, we now have a pretty strong relationship. I think if I didn't have her in my life supporting me, I think there would be a lot more of a push to get out of Brisbane and be in Melbourne full time. But I think now I've worked out a system that works out pretty well. I go down to Melbourne for, you know, sometimes two months at a time, maybe a bit more in the hotter parts of the year, just to get, get in that group environment and kickstart my development. In my experience so far, I've never found that I need to be in Melbourne all the time to be getting the most out of myself. And I've often found when you're in a training in a big group, and especially in a group like Melbourne Track Club is with you know, all the best runners in Australia and some of the best runners in the world, it can be a bit of a stressful environment and you can be taken out of your own space sometimes. Whereas when I find when I'm back here and I'm going through the motions of training, it's often I can just get focus on what I'm doing a lot more and just train to where I'm at. Oh, shit, that was hard. Oh. Oh. Held it even, I mean. Second one I sort of didn't get going on this bit enough, but. Better than the first time, so yeah. It's hard when you're coming back from it's it's hard when you're coming back from injury because you know you're you're constantly you're constantly trying to push yourself further along, but your body moves at a slower rate than what your mind can. So it's you know, oftentimes you feel like you're really sore and fatigued. So been a bit sore since Tuesday, but. You just got to put up with it and keep charging forward. I felt like I wanted to be as personally responsible for the results that I get. That's a lot of the attraction for running. Or well, you got to have the ability to show up and train and perform without, you know, not relying on anyone else or anything else to motivate you to get out of bed and go and do it. From time to time, I do feel like it's a pretty lonely sport. I mean, when you're out there racing, even you can be racing against the guys that you train with, but when you're out there racing, it's just you versus everybody else. And no one else is gonna try and help you get a better outcome. I find that when I'm keeping myself accountable and putting myself in the hurt locker with no one else there to try and help me along in training, I just take it as another mental edge to make myself that little bit stronger come race day. I do prefer training with, with people than not with people. But in saying that, I do, I do take the benefits that come with 
having to keep yourself accountable and having to turn up and no one else be there and get the work done. I'd say Melbourne Track Club is it's definitely one of the most professional you know, athletic environments in Australia that sits above just about everywhere else you could go. And I think it's that, profe you know, it's that professionalism from the top, that being Nick, down, that's sort of just, it's not even really something that's emphasised explicitly. Everyone just turns up and knows they've got to, you know, be professional in what they do and everything. And I guess that attitude just, you know, it oozes off each other. Everyone there wants to be the best. And so, because of that, it's, a, it's ultra competitive and because of that everyone is as professional as they can because they want to get every single little thing out of themselves. I'm more from the cliche side that you know where you hear athletes saying I just want to see how far I can go or I really don't know how fast I can run. I, I think I just want to get to a point in the sport where I feel satisfied with the results I've got and you know all the hard work that I've done to get there. Whenever that point is as when I think is when I will be I think I will have achieved what I've set out to do. Sessions are getting a little bit more manageable each time I do them and so I'm looking forward to the races coming up. I um, feel like everything's apexing pretty well now. On the 29th of April, I've got the Australian 3K champs, which will be a, be an opportunity to get some qualifying points on the board for Tokyo. I would like to get top three and hopefully run a PB. We'll just see how the race plays out and see what the pace is doing. We'll just go in there ex expecting it to be a dogfight and to work really hard. And, you know, I'm sure I'll have some pretty tough competitors to beat. I'll fly to Melbourne on th Thursday between the tan race and 3k champs. More easy running, just sort of recovering from that race and getting ready for the next one. Um, probably squeeze in a very light session in between just to sort of get the body moving again and get everything firing and ready to go.
You get a feeling when everything's moving pretty well. Um, so I knew, knew going in it would be a good one. First half of the race was pretty steady, pretty controlled. You know, I wasn't, wasn't struggling too much. I was just going through the motions. We were a bit slow, but not too much. Last part of the race picked up. I just tried to stay on the shoulder, stay out of trouble, and then come home hard at the end. And I was able to do that. I guess really all it comes down to is just execution. It's just following, you know, following your race plan and doing what you need to do. So I was able to do that. Um, doesn't happen every doesn't happen every day, and you don't always win. So it's nice when you do win. It fires you up for the next thing. So yeah, it's big confidence booster. Um, and yeah, it's it's a oh, it's a really good step forward in the right direction for well, this 5k net coming up, and then whatever's coming after that.